What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? H two B T V. I know you see. We see me. See me. Hey, bro. I could have sworn I put this on Do Not Disturb. Why am I still getting text messages? Somebody, please explain this to me. What is going on? Anyway, anyway, anyway. We're about to do a reaction to Keanu Reeves. That's it. Nothing else. Now I'm just playing. We're about to do a reaction to how they make body suits in like these big crazy movies and stuff. You feel me? And TV shows and whatever. Bruh, I swear if I get enough, bruh, what I'm about to do right now. Excuse me, y'all. What you about to do? I'm you ain't about to do nothing. Look, another text. You ain't about to do nothing. You ain't about to do nothing. So, hey. Anyways, y'all, we are going to be reacting to how they make different bodies look realistic in the movies and TV shows. Realistics. Realistic. Realistics. <laughs> I'm to say realistic. In five, four, three, two, one. Master book. Special effects legend Kevin Yeager. Yeager! And here, he's adding some color to the nipple of this fake bodysuit. But as he moves the airbrush up, he's adding a much more subtle change. You can see the difference between the bottom of the suit and the top part that he hasn't gotten to yet. What this spray paint oh, does oh. is give the suit texture, mimicking Why the undertones right human there? skin naturally has and giving the appearance of tiny details like pores. From a life cast picking up on an actor's defining features, to sculpting subtle veins, to mastering a jiggly <laughs> stomach, a lot of effort goes into making the body oh, suits actors wear look ah! realistic. Warning, some spoilers ahead for Bill and Ted face the music. Dang. Body suits let actors go through physical transformations that they couldn't easily make on their own, from gaining weight to Fat gaining bastard. muscle Juggernaut. to being pregnant. There are times when body suits don't need to be as detailed because they're covered in clothing. <laughs> like this suit Kevin Yeager designed for Dana Carvey in an ultimately cut sequence from The Master of Disguise. But because Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter appear shirtless and Bill and Ted face the music, both the muscle suits and fat body suit created for scenes where they meet future versions of themselves had to be incredibly detailed. To make a bodysuit, you first have to get a life cast of an actor's entire torso. This is the strangest Wait a minute. Touching you on wanna, his booty. You want to continue to watch this? Why? Because we, we didn't see the movie Bill and Ted. Wait, did you even see part two? No. I but let's part, do it anyway. I showed you part one? Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> they touching on his booty. Like we gotta we gotta put that green stuff in my boot like by my booty. Yeah, what if you gotta get naked? In the movie. Keanu and Alex were covered in purple and green they probably got silicone on rubbers. Draws. The green silicone has an oil in it that ensures it won't pull any of the actors' hairs out of their bodies. The two silicones adhere to each other and are then wrapped in a temporary plaster jacket to hold them together, which will eventually be replaced by a fiberglass shell. That forms the mold that will shape the bodysuits. The fiberglass torso shell is laid up into the silicone impression, which then gets covered in clay for the sculpting part of the process. This is the first stage where attention to every realistic detail is crucial as the team sculpts every muscle and vein onto this mold. I just wanted to make sure it looked at every angle, like if he, if he lifted his arm or something, that everything was finished beautifully down here just as much as it was up here. In early oh. design and Photoshop stages, Alex said he actually wanted the muscular bill to look like a gorilla. Even if the suit's <laughs> shape is over the top, the basic anatomy can still be convincing. Sculptor Carol Koch kept a model of the human anatomy in front of her as a reference while chipping away at the muscle suits. Hey, Kevin says a common misconception is that when muscles bulge, the veins will too. But veins actually don't get that big. Yeah. I would have them just keep, keep making those veins subtle, more subtle. So they would just keep smoothing them out until I could barely see them or they're there. But they didn't look, you know, like 
they were words. And then when I come back to the painting, that also pops them up. So that the, the combination of a, of a nice sculpture with, with paint is what makes them look real. Once they've sculpted the shape of the body suits with all their details in clay, they make a mold of the clay suit using a thicker silicone, combine the life cast torso shell, and then inject foam latex into it. The outer layer of foam is removed and replaced with a skin-colored layer of silicone. What about silicone makes it the right material for human skin? Well, foam wrinkles easily, and silicone can soften those wrinkles. But more importantly, Kevin says, silicone absorbs light the same way human skin does, which goes a long way towards making the suits look real. But it isn't until after the suit is sealed and injected with yet more silicone that Kevin can start to paint details on the skin, as plain foam doesn't look very convincing as an outer skin layer. The yeah. next thing to nail was skin tone. When trying to nail the color palette of the actor's skin, Kevin started with lighter shades Who's to match Keanu and Alex's complexions. Keanu. But the prison scene in Face the Music was shot in New Orleans during July, when temperatures reached nearly 100 degrees so Fahrenheit. And the scene with the muscle suits was shot in a prison yard, so Kevin knew the actors would be spending a lot of time in the sun. So yeah. to compensate, he made the suits a shade darker than their normal skin tone. Or, as Kevin says, he gave the suits a suntan. Which gets to an important point. Color makes a big difference in making the skin look real. Take a look at the muscle suits during a nearly completed stage. The abs pop out not just because of how they're sculpted, but because of how they're colored. The team used an unexpected color combination of red and green paint underneath and around each ab. Yeah, because those we kinds of. Yeah, think about it. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Rising details in human skin that only an artist can detect. Let's go back into that blank area of the muscle suit he colored in with an airbrush. Kevin says there's always so he starts with that red paint and then adds paint with human blue. Other colors he returns in the skin. I use a blank on a on a little brush. You only need to touch out uh just paint that in a band of color. I, I do this thing that I for some reason I just call it wobbly hair where I just just kind of I just kind of create a kind of wobble in my hair and I also get interaction with it. So I'm constantly moving my my fist and then I'm then I'm getting out and then I'm getting out and then drops causes little veins and little little breakouts. While that is happening, the left nipple doesn't fully pop and his pinkish brown coat gets sprayed on it. The muscle suits were smooth and hairless to mimic bodybuilding, but Keanu's back suit had hair. Adding hair to a suit makes it easier to hide skin details, but each hair has to look real, from how it curls to the growth pattern. Kevin punched at least 300 ah, individual hairs into the stomach and chest of Keanu. He made sure to make the hair thicker and heavier as it went down the chest against the groin. Kevin's work isn't only about painting splotches and punching hair. You can't have a bodysuit that just looks realistic. It also has to move to coat your body. Foam latex beneath the layer of skin-like silicone helps the actors lose weight. A fat suit like the one Kevin made for Keanu needs to bounce and dribble naturally. You can see that as Keanu's stomach pops out of his shirt during this shot in the film. So, how do you make it move while also giving it some weight? The classic technique? Stuffing the suit with dry lentils. Kevin used them when building the suit for Weird Al Yankovic's 1988 music video, Fat. He later created two body pieces to add 12 pounds to Nicolas Cage in 2002's adaptation. This time around, Kevin tried to achieve movement from one of them by mixing lentils and beef into one of his suits. What about the Con Air? sweat actually caused the lentils to sprout. So now, to get the movement huh. and weight without the mess, Kevin simply fills the chest and stomach of the suit with bags of beads. Hey! The video about the suit came out today, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, I can't pay for lunch. I got it. Sorry guys, I can't pay for lunch. With all 
has a skill involved in making these sweet looking moves of real human flesh, some of the realest thing is achieved by cleverly hiding the dead giveaway. Makeup artists typically cover up the zipper in the back of body suits, but because of the free and woolly feet, they keep the zippers and the muscle suits exposed so the actors could hop in and out of them quickly to cool off. But for a shot like this, the zippers were just itchy eyed out. Kevin also needed to hide the scene where the suit connects her real skin around the neck and the arms. So when wearing a muscle suit, the two actors wore weightlifting gloves while Keanu's long fake beard hid the neck suit. You will also notice Keanu wearing two necklaces in the shot where he has a bigger belly. The lower one was glued down to hide the strap that held the suit up above the chest. For one final touch of realism, Kevin applied a water and glycerin mix to Keanu and Alex's prison body suit to give off a persuasively sweaty look. All that effort, from punching hundreds of hairs to wearing a 20 to 25 pound suit and punishing feet, created something realistic, not just for the viewer, but also the actor. Alex Winter uh, liked to have all that weight because it helped him in his acting to have a less base quality of Adding some color to the nipple of this effect legend, Kevin Yeager. I'm gonna say honestly, I did not know that much work went into like building a body, like putting fake hair. Like I knew they. They make bodies, like, of course, because, like, Eddie Murphy's not really fat. So how did they make Eddie Murphy fat? Big mama's house. Yeah, so I knew they made bodies, but I didn't know that they actually, like, like the hair thing, like, Dang, he what? did the Nutty Professor. That jump was good, bro. He had to make a bunch of body suits just for, just for Eddie Murphy. He played the grandma, mm -hmm. himself as mm -hmm. Sherman Clump. Mm -hmm. He played his... No, his mom was a regular person. I think. Oh, he plays daddy. But I, but I think those suits. That's why they didn't have to look as realistic though, because he was putting clothes on. He had a bunch of clothes. Yeah, on. so he didn't but have to go into detail. He was Mupra. This dude is genius. <laughs> Guys, a wizard for the kid. That boy. That boy. That's a bad boy right there. Kevin Yeager, that's a bad boy right there. Another thing that I wouldn't have think that they would have to do is that they have to mold their bodies underneath. I never thought about that. Why not? I never thought about you that. They I don't just know. make suits. Everybody's different. Everybody, like for example, Keanu Reeves like six one, six two. Yeah. That dude like five nine. Yeah, everybody has a different body type, but I didn't think you had to mold. I don't know. I thought you just took measurements or something. Oh, okay, you're. Oh, nah, so that, about that, nah. this long. That seemed like that'd be That's way it. harder. That'd be way harder. Why not just put some clay on your body? Oh, there we go right there. Take it off. I didn't think that you would have to do that. Yeah, I, I feel like the, the measurements would be way harder. Like I'm know, not saying that they wouldn't be. I'm no, just no, no, saying. no, no. That's what I'm saying. That's how you thought. And I'm like, yeah, that, that seemed like that'd be way harder. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's, that's my reaction on that thought of yours that you just had. You feel me? That, that's how I'm feeling. Yeah, so y'all. Kevin Yeager. That was great. That was that was interesting. That was very interesting. I seen this video. I'm like, boy, I gotta watch this video. Now oh, matter of fact, react to it. Now when we watch it, Bill and Ted, we're gonna be like, Trying yeah. To look. Yeah, I see it. I see, I see so like I see it I think covering. It, yeah, I think it would have been better like if we would have seen Bill and Ted before we seen this, right? If we would have and we would have seen um and um which one? If we would have seen what's the names, because they say they wanted his suit to be like a gorilla, a short one. Bill. If we would have seen Bill's suit in a movie before we seen this right here, we wouldn't have we we wouldn't have been like how like we like God that suit look crazy like he look too big even though that's how they wanted to look. Mm -hmm. If we would have seen the movie first, we would have just been like. 
Why the dang. heck is he that big? Big, like, god dang. And it wouldn't have crossed our mind that, like, I can see all of the fake details and stuff. Now we just gonna be looking at it like, hey, oh, Kevin Yeager, I see a little bit of Kevin Yeager right there. Oh, okay, there goes some Kevin Yeager right there. You watch a movie, you ain't even looking at the other people in the movie, you look at Kevin Yeager right there. You gotta stop him. There go a little bit of Kevin Yeager right there. But yeah, man, hey, Wizard, Wizard, him and his team, they ain't specify the other names of the other team members, but yeah, they, they doing their thing from suit. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah. This is H Two B T V, and we would we're signing, signing off. off. Let's get out of here. See y'all later.